Hi, Liverpool. Hi, guys. It's Aussie Villain. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great, thanks. Absolutely great. Uh, having a great time up here on top of the league. Love the view. Uh, but more importantly, how are you? No, no, I don't want anything. Don't want anything. I'm just checking in on the little guys uh, a little bit further down the table. Uh, would you like us to send you out a youngster on loan? Maybe that'll help you out a little bit. Hello? Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 3 at Brentford as we follow in Dean Smith's footsteps. And today we are playing Southampton and Spurs in the Premier League. And things are still going very, very well. We'll get to why in just a second. Uh, we start in the medical centre though, and that is because Jaden Bogle has been missing pretty much since last episode. A twisted ankle. Um, he's been out for two weeks. He's expected to be out for about another week. So we may see him against Spurs if he's back in time. Um, but yeah, that's been a big, big loss. Of course, Jaden Bogle is a massive, massive part of what we do. He is so, so good. Um, but that is that. Now, other news to catch you up on since last episode is that we've had some facility upgrades completed. Um, so you can see here now we have good training facilities. We have below average data analysis facilities. We're working on that. Uh, and we have adequate youth facilities. Uh, and we've also increased the junior coaching and youth recruitment. So hopefully everything will start and, um, you know, build up so we get the club going uh, very much in the right direction. Uh, we've got our stadium expansion set to be complete in a couple of months as well. Um, so everything off the field is looking really, really good for Brentford, which is amazing. Uh, and things on the field aren't looking too bad either. Let's go and have a look at what's happened since last episode, starting with our local derby in the Premier League against Fulham. We took the lead when Mabry found Jaden Boyle in acres of space. But Fulham pulled level before half time. Before Ante Palaversa smashed in a stoppage time winner. Oh, so we got there in the end. We were the better team. We did deserve to win the game. Uh, Bogle got us off to the perfect start. They pulled it back and then Palaversa, 91st minute, did in the end get us the win. Um, Manuel Ferrari was a little bit disappointing. He has been a little bit disappointing this season, to be honest. Uh, Hamshik as well. We actually dropped him for this one so that Mabry could come in and he uh, did really well to set up that first goal, didn't he? Um, but yeah, we, as I said, we got there in the end and that is, uh, that's the main thing. Uh, next up, Premier League game against Wolves. We went in front late in the first half through Dominic Thompson. But some poor passing gave Wolves the equaliser moments later. Dominic Thompson picked out Michelotti early in the second half to put us back in front. Before the same two players repeated the trick moments later. Wolves pulled one back with 10 to play. But Thompson and Michelotti were at it again as the Italian completed his hat trick. So we conceded some scrappy goals in this one, but otherwise we were really, really good. And we ripped them a new one in wide areas, didn't we? Dominic Thompson and Michelotti with the hat trick. Between the two of them, they, they basically did it all themselves. Uh, three goals for Michelotti and an assist. Uh, did he get the assist? No, it wasn't the assist. But anyway, he put the cross in. And Thompson, three goals, sorry, three assists and the goal as well. Um, they were absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's good to see Arp do something useful in this one. This is where Bogle got injured early, which is why Thompson was on the field. And it worked out okay for us. As I said, a bit scrappy defensively, but in wide areas, we were absolutely magnificent. And Gunnarsson had a game we want to forget pretty quickly. Final game to catch you up on was against Sheffield United. We went behind early. But Dodi Lukabakio smashed this level. And then secured the points with his second. So there we go. Again, we were the better team in this one. We deserved the win. Luca Bacchio with two absolutely rocket finishes. Amazing stuff from him. Um, defensively in this one, though, we looked we looked very, very dodgy at times. Um, we have been doing some defensive work in training to try and tighten that up. Um, I don't know if it's playing against sort of the lesser teams that we're, we're clocking off a little bit, but... We definitely rode our luck at times in this one. You can see some poor finishing from them is probably the difference between us taking three points and taking less than that. Um, so yeah, that was that was excellent. And looking back, as I said, with a double, excellent to see. So have a quick look at what that means for the league table. That is not the league table. That is the league table. Manchester United have had the early kickoff today, so they are they are a top, but. If we win against Southampton, uh, we will go back top of the Premier League. We are top, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but here we are. And 
yeah, I mean, look at this. We've already got a seven-point gap over Manchester City in, in fifth. Could we be going to the Champions League? Almost certainly Villa will sack their manager, won't they? Let's have a quick look and see how Villa are getting on this season. Um, they're up there in seventh, so they're doing okay. Um, you'd imagine that that'll keep Brucey in the job for most of the year if he sort of is in and around that uh, playoff contention. And Walsall, of course, down in League One now, they are looking good to, to have, a, have a good season um, right in that promotion race there, aren't they? Which is good to see. All right, let's go and have a look and see what we're doing here against Southampton. Um, we're away from home, yet we are the favourites, which is good. We're in good form. They are not in as good form. We've got a win and a draw against them in our two games so far. Their manager is Ben Wilkinson, a 36-year-old. Um, I've got to say, I don't recognize the name, and I probably should do, given where he's been. Um, but anyway, maybe he's maybe he wasn't really a player, and he's just sort of a, a, a more of a career coach. Anyway, he's a very, very good uh, manager. Um, they're an attacking, passing style of play. We're expecting them to come out in this sort of a formation. You can see Batswai is there. They've got Ward Prowse, who's a good player. Um, so they do have uh, some decent players in there. Positional heat map from their 1-1 draw with Leicester. We can see they defend a little bit narrow, so hopefully we'll be able to get our fullbacks forward. Um, a very interesting looking heat map for the goalkeeper there. <laughs> uh, passing network and the key passes are there as well. They like to get in close to goal, don't they, before they look for that killer pass. This is a team that we're sending out, and it is Gunnarsson in goal. It's McKenna and Soleil at the back. It's Justin. He gets one more chance with the Boggle injury to prove himself at right back. He goes down the right. It's Michelotti down the left. Dobson is in to replace Garner, who's not been at his best. It's Palaversa, Hamshik, and Baptiste. Uh, uh, May Maybury was injured. So he's on the bench if we need him, but uh, we'll, we'll give these three a go for now. It's Munro and Arp up top. Their goals have dried up just a little bit lately, so let's hope they can refine their form here. I say refine their form. In the case of Arp, find their form. I don't think he has a goal yet, does he? No, just the one assist. Um, but everybody is playing as expected. Uh, what can we say here? Go, challenge them to go out there and prove a point. Um, come on, lads. Just keep the run going. I don't know what to say to them. Some calm, we have faith. And let's get out there. And here we go, back in the Premier League, top of the league. I don't think any of us saw this coming at the start of the year. I thought we'd be competitive, but um, yeah. I, uh, I don't I don't really understand. I know there's people in the comments saying, I don't know how you're getting these results, and I don't really know either. Um, you know, we're trying to be defensively solid. We, we've got a threat going forward, but outside of that, I really don't understand. Oi, uh, that's not good. You can see it coming back. Shwai with the knockdown. And we continue to look a little bit ropey from set pieces at times. Or just defensively at times. We, we were absolutely rock solid. And you can see it's just, that's just starting to wane a little bit, which is obviously a problem. Um, I might need to, I'm wondering actually, thinking out loud now, if I need to change my pre-game team talk, if that's not, that's sloppy as well. Um, if that's not particularly working, let's, can we lower this tempo and maybe just hit early crosses in? Um, yeah, maybe, maybe now given where we are in this in the season and in the table, we just need to look to be a little bit different in the way we're approaching our team talks. Here we go with Baptiste. Infield there for Hamshik. Hamshik goes early for Arp. Can he get onto that? He can. We should have Munro getting forward in the middle. He goes back to Hamshik. Hamshik goes out there to Justin. Can he get a quality ball in? We look at the blue shirts in their back post. It's there for Michelotti. He's a goal-scoring machine, and he's been eating those all season, and on this occasion, he's headed it over the bar. Here we go with Justin again. It's blocked away. Baptiste goes to close down Ings. We're doing a decent job keeping the pressure on them here. They cannot get anything going. Dobson for Palaversa. In for Hamchik. Back to Palaversa. Wonderful ball through for Fete Arp. And Fete Arp has his first goal in a Brentford shirt. And what a pass it was from Ante Palaversa to put him in. A wonderful piece of football from Brentford. And that is why we're top of the league right there. We have a goal in us this year. Pinging it around, look at that, a wonderful ball straight through the heart of the defence. Arp is onto it, tucks it away for his first Brentford goal. And there we go, let's hope that's the first of many, many goals from Arp. Um, Alright, let's see if we can keep this going now. We've really, really not seen anything from them apart from that set-piece goal that they did manage to get. Um, it's been a relatively even game, not a particularly good game, though from the highlights that we've seen, we, we have been doing okay. Um, what do we say to this? What do we say to this? Um, unlucky, let's, let's say unlucky boys. 
and then the players that aren't playing well, we'll tell them they're not playing well and see if we can get a little bit more out of them in this second half. Uh, McKenna, more from you, please, mate. More from you, please, Justin. Oh, oh, I've hit the wrong thing there. I have faith. All right, mate. I do kind of have faith in you. Not really, but let's see what you can do if you think I do have faith in you. Um, Hamshik's not having the greatest game again. As I said, we do have Mabry on the bench coming back from injury. So that might be something we could look to do. Monroe, he got uh, some early goals in the season, but he's, he's really, his form has dropped off a little bit. Um, we do have the Wizard on the bench. We could play a pressing forward, perhaps. Um... We've got a 6-5 there from Michelotti and Justin. Neither of them are having particularly good games. So let's um, let's try and exploit the middle. See if that helps us at all. I'm going to say, Munro, we might need to call it on you, mate. Let's get the wizard on. Uh, can he play as a pressing forward? Kind of. So that's fine. Can Art play as a pressing forward? He's more so. Okay, so let's switch them. Um, that is that. And... Let's call this on Hamshik, who's not having a great game. Let's get Mabry on, coming back from injury as the advanced playmaker and see what he can do for us. Let's get creative, boys. Come on, we're looking nervous and anxious, which is never a good thing. Um, here we go. Palaversa, forward for Arp. Arp looks over there for Justin. Can he get a cross in? The wizard is lurking. The wizard is lurking. Justin, oh, he's so bad. <laughs> So bad. All right, Dobson picks it up. Ball forward, looking for Justin. Surely now he can get a cross in. He can. Back post, it's Michelotti. Oh, he's been scoring for fun, and he's missed two by his standards. Really, really simple chances here. Give it another get creative. We're running out of time here. Let's get on. Let's take off Baptiste. Let's get on Garner. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we get ourselves a late, late winner here? A draw would obviously take us back level with Manchester United. I'm not sure how we're doing for goal difference. That's a good ball for Justin. Justin. Oh, straight into the goalkeeper's arms. Can we give it a, a push forward here late on? Come on, boys. Can we get something? No, we've dropped silly points away to Southampton. And it was just that one set piece, wasn't it? They didn't threaten us after that. And, well, we do get a goal for Fete Art, which is nice. But we've fallen short there of our high expectations. We looked nervous. And we looked apprehensive. We saw uh, Michelotti miss two chances that he's been taking all season long. Um, and you do wonder if uh, if that is just the nerves and expect you know, of, 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 and maybe not expectation, but of sitting where we are in the league. But that does send us back joint top. We are one goal off uh, off top of the league, guys. Wait right there. We'll be back to face Spurs. And see if we can uh, see if we can get back to winning ways. Lee, has the doctor cleared Boggle to face Spurs yet? He has. Excellent. Hello. Oh, Josh De Silva, how you doing, mate? Not good. Why? What's up? You want to play more? Look, mate, that's completely understandable. But you need to understand that at the level we're trying to play at right now, you're just not going to be first choice every week, mate. Well, look, if you want to leave, uh, I'm not going to stand in your way. Off you go. Okay, welcome back. We're getting ready to face Tottenham, but as you've just seen, Josh De Silva is unhappy at uh, the football he's getting, uh, and so he has now requested to leave. To be honest, he's not quite good enough for us anymore, certainly at this level. Uh, maybe a, if we were sort of in the bottom half of the Premier League, then perhaps, you know, he's, he's a useful, well-rounded player, um, but he's not first choice for us anymore, and if he wants to be first choice, then it's best we just let him go, I think. So that's fine. We should get a decent fee for him. Um, and yeah, we'll get on with our lives. But uh, he's a good player, so it's a little bit of a shame. Uh, and the other news that we've got, which is slightly troubling, uh, if we just go back up the top here and have a look at some sackings in the uh, championship, Steve Bruce is favourite to go next. Um, which is obviously really, really disappointing in a way. He's down to ninth in the championship. Uh, I mean, I think the fact of the matter is, the way we are going with Brentford now, we're never going to want to leave, are we? But... At some point, it's going to happen. It's surely, surely now, <laughs> if we were to apply for the Villa job, we would get it. Uh, they're obviously a basket case of a club. So, yeah. But anyway, that is uh, that is what it is. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens there. But he's favourite to go next. Uh, but we're up against Spurs right now. We are favourites for this one. Uh, we have never beaten them. We've got a draw and a loss against them. Uh, they're sitting down there in seventh right now. Uh, Manchester United have already won today. 
Um, so we need to win to keep pace with them. Uh, but worst case scenario, we're still going to be three points uh, clear in second place, which is uh, which is excellent. What are we going up against here? We're up against a Gorka as scorer coach team. And I've got to be honest, never heard of him. Um, He's decent though, isn't he? An attacking standard, uh, sorry, attacking passing style of play. We're expecting the 4-4-2, but look at this. There's some good plays in there. Kane and Parrot up front, Sessignon, Foden in midfield. Um, so they're a, they're a decent team. Uh, they did beat Sheffield United 2-1 out last time. You can see they're very high up the pitch and there's a lot of space in the middle and they do like to attack down the wings. Um, so we can kind of see potentially there where we could get at them. This is a team that we're sending out. It is Gunnarsson in goal. It's McKenna and Sorley at the back. Boggle is back fit. Not particularly match sharp, but he's fit and that's good enough for me. So he comes in to partner Michelotti in wide areas. Dobson, Palaversa, Mabry starts this one and Baptiste in midfield. Raspadori comes in to play alongside Arp up front. Let's go. So it is the 4-4-2 that we're coming up against here. So that is fine. Um... What do we want to say to this? Do it for the fans. Let's go. They give the fans their money's worth. That's fine. Let's go with that. Some calm. We have faith. And hopefully we won't look quite so nervous this time. And here we go. Here we go. This is, well, it's another big test, isn't it? Against a good team. Uh, maybe not a, a sort of a peak Tottenham team, but certainly a good one. If you've got Foden in your midfield, you're always going to be a chance, aren't you? Let's give it a get creative here. Palaverse has picked up an early booking. We do have Garner and Hamshik. We've got depth, though. We look at our bench. Um, so we do have options to change things. We've got Luca Bacchio if we want to go with wingers, uh, along with the Wizard. I do wonder, maybe a little bit against uh, Southampton, if maybe having the option to go to, to wide players. We did do some more training on defending set pieces and corners in between the two games, though again, you wouldn't notice it looking at that. Um, Michelotti has picked up a knock. He's been caught into the Italian team for the first time, which is good for him. Um, it would be really good if he could seal that uh, call up with a goal. That would be nice. When that Soleil gets it forward. There it is for Boggle. Good to have him back. Cross comes in. It's decent. Raspadori was lurking, but it was cleared away by the Tottenham defender. And are we going to find ourselves on the back of a counter-attack here? Crossfield ball. Skip has it. Out there for Kara. We go across. We've got to get a little bit closer than that. Please, Raspadori. Come on, mate. Cross to the back post. Yenazai sticks it in. And we are 1-0 down at home to Tottenham. And you just get the feeling it's all coming a little bit undone here for us right now. Raspadori has got to be closer. You've got to be closer, mate. And, yeah, Boggle hasn't particularly covered himself in glory either there, has he? As his man is unmarked at the back post. Let's give it a show some passion. Uh, a tight hamstring for Michelotti. We might have to take him off. Michelotti with the cross. It's headed away. Baptista's there. Baptista Boggle. Boggle back to Raspadori. Can't win the header. Ed Palaversa has it. Back to Michelotti. Can he get a cross in? Where's Boggle at the back post? It's blocked away. And is it going to come up the other end? It is. And it's Parrot. Soleil's trying to get back. And we just about get away with that. It was a tight hamstring for Michelotti. We unfortunately are going to have to take him off, aren't we? There's not much we can do about that. Raspadori's not having a great game. Nobody's having a particularly good game. Let's try exploit the middle. We did see that there was uh, a little bit of space in the middle of their uh, formation there for us. But that's not been particularly good, has it? In fact, it's been poor. Um, let's try an aggressive. Show me something different second half. Um, see if that works for us at all. It's one of these now where we're going to have to figure, or I'm going to have to figure out the best way to talk to the team given we are where we are. Um, I'm wondering if we need to go just to a no pressure situation, which we might give it as a shout and see if that helps at all. Um, but this isn't particularly working, is it? Boggle's not having a good game out there. We've got a Tottenham throw to defend here. Can we do that? Yanazai brings it forward. Yanazai skips past one. Oh, and it is a good save by Goodnarts and behind for the corner. Um, comes in. It's headed away. We still don't quite get there. Kane is in acres of space. How much time does he want? Goes all the way back, and that'll end the highlight. Let's give it a get creative here. Uh, it's not working, though, is it? Let's go to wingers. We have them on the bench for a reason, so let's do that. Um, 
Maybury go in. Actually, let's let's take Baptiste off. I think uh, Baptiste Maybury Palaversa. Maybury's actually playing the worst, but I think he's the most potentially dangerous. Uh, so let's go Potter and Luca Bacchio. Let's get Potter going as the Roman tour that he did so well last year. That let's Boggle get forwards. Bacchio's there. That all looks fine. And let's see what we can do here. Does the change have any uh, try that again? Any impact on the game? Boggle trips over the ball, keeps it though. There for Dobson, in there for Mabry. Mabry spreads it wide. It's overlapping run by Thompson. He's done well there. Can we get across the area? There for Palaversa. What a goal that would have been. Couldn't keep that volley down though. Unfortunate. But already there's signs of life there as we change things up. That that's uh, that's looking good, isn't it? Let's give it another. Get creative. Um, we've made our three subs, so we can't change anything else. Uh, let's try and pass into space. Let's exploit the middle again. Um, let's counter press, and let's let's go after them here a little bit. We need to do that, don't we? Oh, it's such a shame. It, it just, this episode is the first time I think we've seen on the channel. I sort of saw the signs there in between episodes with some defensive mishaps. And it's going to be a first loss of the season away, sorry, at home to Tottenham. Again, it's not a game we've been particularly outplayed in, but the players themselves didn't didn't particularly play well. So that's that's not particularly good enough. So there we go, Brentford defeated. Are we falling off of our high horse here? Potentially so. Uh, Raspadori didn't look particularly good up there, but nobody looked particularly good, did they? Uh, if I have a quick look at the league table, we're still in an excellent position, uh, but only taking one point from those two games, it does make you wonder a little bit if we're going to start and drop off drop off the table, down, or drop down the table here a little bit. We really need to try and kick on though, don't we? We can't afford to do that. Um, there was chances. You look in the first game, Michelotti had a couple. Um, we didn't really have too many there, but hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to rebound and kick on. I think what we'll do is we'll come back next time for Leicester at home and then Chelsea away. They are two very, very big games. Uh, actually, no, what we might do is, so we get a little bit closer to the festive fixtures in the January window, we might do Chelsea away and then Brighton at home. Um, yeah, so, so that way the season moves on a little bit as well. So that's what we'll do. We'll be back next time for Chelsea away, Brighton at home, and hopefully Steve Bruce will still have his job. If you have, still have uh, try that again. If you have enjoyed this, hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time for Chelsea and Brighton. Take care.